Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from Xexpress Themes. This is a video tutorial of Xexpress Social Auto Post. Well, it is a perfect WordPress plugin to auto post all your website content to social media such as in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr account. Importantly, you can configure multiple social profiles and post on them. It means if you want to post the content to more than one Facebook account, then you can. You just need to configure multiple account and yes, unlimited. So for this, you need to buy our plugin from here. Then you will uh, get an, uh, after we get your payment confirmation, you will get an order uh, email with a download link. From there, you can download our uh, plugin zip file and install in our, uh, install in your WordPress. And after uploading the plugin to your WordPress, you will see here that is so uh, sorry, Xpress Social Auto Post. Click on it. Now with this plugin, you can uh, post a uh, you can post post our pages to these accounts that is Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and LinkedIn account uh, at one time. Well. Well, about this plugin, I'm going to make four videos and in this video, I'm going to show how you can configure this Facebook account and post certain thing there. So for this, choose this Facebook and click on add new account. You need to check this auto publish and then enter an uh, account title. Then you need to enter an application ID and an application secret. So make sure you read this note that is please visit here and create new Facebook application to get application ID and application secret. So let us click here. So you need to log in uh, to your Facebook account and then you can add a new app. Choose website. You can skip the thing. You need to enter a display name, for example, this. then you need to select a category that is apps for pages and click on create app ID. Your app is made. As you can see, this is the app ID. You need to copy that and paste it here. That's application ID. And then for application secret, this is the application secret. Click on show. You need to enter a password. I'm gonna get it. All right, it will show your application secret. Copy it. Paste it there. The another thing that's written here is also make sure you follow below steps after creating app that is navigate to app, setting, edit setting, website, site URL and set the site URL as this. Well, I'm working in localhost so this uh, URL is coming but you need to put your live website URL. Let's go back to the apps and go to setting. Then here you need to add platform, select website, and then put the URL here. Copy it and paste it there and click on save changes. After this, go back here. And the next thing you need to uh, configure here is Facebook user ID. So for this, uh, you can visit here click this uh, click to this link It'll take you to a website which provides you Facebook ID So you need to enter your Facebook personal profile URL so Let's get that Go to profile Copy this URL and paste it in this box then click on find numeric ID and it will provide a numeric ID. 
copy it and then paste this ID here now the next thing you can see is post message format that is in which format you want uh, your post to appear on your Facebook pages so you can write this make sure you read this note too that is please use this uh, small code that is post title for post title and for post content so excerpt post link and author's name so let me add this that is post title then post content or if you want the author name to show then author's name after this you can select the post format that is simple text message or an attached blog post uh, let me select attached blog post and if you want image to show on your post then check this you have the option to choose this feature image or a custom image that is why while when you make a post and you select a feature image there when you set a feature image there if you want that image to appear on your uh, Facebook page then you can select this feature image but if you want a custom image to show then you can select this and uh, put here and custom image URL get URL and uh, paste it there after this you need to select now uh, you can enable auto publish for if you want only your post to auto publish or your pages if you select both then both your post and pages will auto publish then check on this all select all and click on add account after your account is added you need to authorize uh, your account this let's check it for the last time all right you need to select this profile page and check on authorize it will ask you ask you permission so click on ok as you can see your account authorized successfully now you can go for posting so you can start posting go to post click on add new put your post uh, title like anything post title add some description here then here you can see that is enable auto post if you want this particular post to auto post uh, on the account you selected then you can check on yes and if you don't want this post to auto post then you can check no but you will check yes and then click on publish now our post is published now let's go back to this plugin and check if this post is published or not click on logs as you can see posted successfully on profile page this is our post so let's go to our profile page and uh, see if it's published or not this is it this is our um, the, the, the format we put on our post format with post titles their description and author's name with a custom image and everything so in this way you can add your Facebook uh, account from here and do all the configuration and auto post to your post so thank you very much for watching this video. Well, in next video, I'm going to be explaining about how you can add Twitter account, your Tumblr and LinkedIn and show you how you can auto post from those social media profiles account. So if you have any confusion, then you can always write to me down below. I'll be happy to reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.